All right, welcome kayak anglers of Florida and also everybody else who's going to be joining us. I think we're going to have a very large show capacity. So if anybody has any questions, you're allowed to drop them over there in the sidelines. I'm refreshing a screen over here so I can make sure that I have everything up and running. Chris, Jason, it is awesome to see you, brother. Looking to see who else pops in here. But we're going to have a great time. We are going to be talking with Darren from Line Cutters, one of the many faces of the organization. You see um, Vance on a regular. If you're friends with him on Facebook, if you've seen him on, on the TV show Shark Tank, you've seen him pretty much everywhere now. Um, so it is an awesome opportunity to meet one of the other amazing faces of Line Cutters, and that's Darren. He is going to come on with this shortly, but I just want to allow everybody to kind of roll in here. Josh, it's great to see you, sir. One of our top 10 anglers for the Angler of the Year. Great to see you going off to the championship at the end of September. But we're going to have a big show. We're going to talk about a lot of products. We're going to have fun with Darren. We're going to talk, uh, throw some wild off-the-wall questions at him. And then at the same time, I'm going to, at the end, give a couple updates on some of the things that's going to be happening for the championship and then also for 2021 tournament trail kicking off in November on oh, the second second weekend of November, Lake Jackson, just north of Tallahassee. So this is an opportunity to start getting in and getting at the ground level for an all new season starting of eight trail stops again for Kayak Angler Sunshine State Trail. So you definitely want to start getting in on that. We'll have all that information later on at the end, but I don't want to take too much time away from Darren. We're going to bring him on in here, give him a little countdown so he can see and get him. Oh, he's already throwing stuff. Darren, how you doing, brother? I'm doing good, man. Thank you for having me. Yes, it's an honor to have you guys on. You guys have been huge supporters of a lot of kayaking agencies and clubs and organizations throughout the country, and it is great to have a awesome and working relationship with you guys and it is awesome to have you on so the anglers can meet you see you and hear you absolutely i appreciate it so besides everything that's kind of going on tell us a little bit about yourself there and what are you doing and how are you what do you use for your platform in fishing so um you know obviously we branched off we have the line cutters instagram page um so i post on there i say vance post me on there i don't want to like take pride from our anglers um but then on instagram i do it facebook um you know i wasn't a huge technical person you know i i, I get so wrapped up in fishing where vance would be like do you take pictures i'm like no man i was back in the water I, I don't have time to take pictures so i'm still wrapping my brain around that kind of stuff because I, i'm so intense i've competed in sports my whole life so me worrying about taking pictures is i'm getting used to it i guess you could say so it's like the the least favorite thing to do but it's the thing you know you got to do right yeah and i'm still really bad at it unless <laughs> it's a really big fish or someone's like hey man we have no footage today and i'm like true um you know let's let's get it done but other than that i just i love fishing so much man it's so enjoyable that you kind of just get carried away that's the best part about it. And I too, I do the same thing. Get all of a sudden realize I'm back at the dock or the ramp and realize I haven't taken a picture for the entire day. And you're just like, well, how am I going to prove that I was actually doing it? <laughs> right. Exactly. That's, that's you and I are in the same boat. Um, so what are you fishing out of? You said you, we talked a little bit right before we went on air that you are, um, you've been angling for a little while. So tell us a little bit what you're fishing out of and, and um, what's getting you out on the water nowadays. Yep. So kayak wise, uh, we had teamed up with Vibe. So I run a Vibe Shearwater. I'm um, just kind of getting used to the kayak side of things. Um, super, super enjoy it. Um, I, I have the most respect for people that kayak fish and just slay because, man, I'm struggling. Like skipping a jig under a dock and then next thing I know the wind blows, I'm turned around and it's just – Man, it's tough. <laughs> um, so other than that, otherwise I, I rock a new Skeeter uh, bass boat and that's kind of like my mobile office right now. Mobile office. I, I like to see that mobile office. That would be fun to play on. I, yeah. I, I don't get to play on too many boats throughout. I get to go all, all the kayaks down here. So Gotcha. Um, all right. So you so you said you are in the Vibe Shearwater. Is that the one with the pedals or the paddle? 
Um, you can do both. You can get it with or without. Okay. Uh, they were a little on back order, so I took it without the drive just because I wanted to give her a try. Um, so sooner or later, I will upgrade so I can pedal and enjoy uh, kayaking a little bit better. Well, you'll 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 go through the phases just like everybody else does. You got to start small and work your way up, and then realize why didn't I just do this to begin with? Yep, exactly. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit tonight about all the the product line that Line Cutters has, and also talk a little bit about um, what you guys are looking at doing for the rest of this year and beginning of next year. So. Give us a rundown. Tell us a little bit about what we have going on. And we, we know the famous line cutters ring is the biggest, yeah. is the biggest one. Yeah. So everybody knows us. Usually they're like, Oh, you guys have that ring. So the infamous ring, if you all can see it, um, you know, Vance invented this as a way to cut fishing line with not having to carry knives, scissors, fingernail clippers. Um, and at, after that he went on shark tank and it literally just, it blew up. Um, you know, being able to cut braid like a hot knife through butter is, I hate when people say, oh, your product's a game ch game changer. It just drives me bonkers. Um, but in a sense, it kind of is because nothing cuts braid this, you know, this smooth, safe, and I mean, it's clean every time. Um, so what happened is, you know, we brought it to ICAST that first year, thought we were gonna get product of the year. We didn't, um, you know, it happens. Um, and then a lot of the guide services, what they were doing is they were cutting off all the Velcro uh, strap that comes on our ring and using a zip tie. So they could put them on T-tops, um, kayak seats, mm -hmm. you know, all these different areas. So we're like, well, why don't we make one that you can stick on something, you know? So then that was the next year at iCast. This one will come with the uh, 3M on the back. And we thought, we're definitely going to win product of the year this year because uh, boats, kayaks, uh, tackle box companies now actually integrate these into their boats. Mm -hmm. um, leading manufacturers, uh, Cal Coast Fishing has this in their battle box. Um, and, you know, we're working on them with some kayak, you know, kayak dealers that have them in kayaks when they leave the manufacturer. So we're like, product of the year, no doubt about it. We didn't get it. So we're like, crap. Uh, next, we thought about why not invent something that you can put on your jacket or your bibs or your waiter. So this came out uh, uh, basically ICAST last year for the most part, mm -hmm. and um, it went like wildfire. So at that point, you know, we had been uh, teamed up with Ike and Ellie, uh, one of you know our best friends, I guess you could say, and he did fish my city and go on Ike, and he had his backpack on. And um, this was connected to the backpack. So, I mean, we've sold, I think we sold 100,000 units of these in like three or four months. Wow. So it, we were like, psh, mind blown. So that's crazy. Yeah. So now, you know, we released today, it's been like this. Um, I'm sponsored by uh, Striker, and it's been a year in, in the making, but today we showed that. All of our zipper pulls are going to be on, you know, strikers jackets. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with them, but uh, they're making a huge force. Um, their rain gear is awesome. You'll start seeing a lot of the pros wear it. Um, but after the Midwest, they make literally the best uh, winter suit for us when we're out there freezing. Um, you guys don't know about it in Florida, but for negative 40 degrees and we're out there jigging for walleyes, the suit is top of the line. And, um, yeah, today was like that that point where I finally been able to talk about it, and I've just been glowing all day because everybody's like, "Congratulations, we love their stuff!" And yeah, it just worked out perfect. So that's awesome. So that's going to be on their jackets, on the bibs, or just the jackets? Um, right now, it's going to be on I think four or five different jackets that they're offering. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be on bibs as well because um, you have your but your jackets your outer layer, so you're gonna you know you don't want to unzip when it's cold. But now on their rain gear, um, fingers crossed, it's on the bibs and the jacket, you know. Nice. Which would be ideal because, you know, sometimes you take one off or, yeah. That would be awesome. That, that, that gives me something awesome. to look forward to now. Now all new bibs and all, rain gear. So that's yeah, even better. Oh, no, man, it, it is awesome. And, and there are things, too, with the kayak industry is, um, you know, the zipper poles are going right on the PFDs. So, 
Um, Ivy Harris, uh, one of just the rock stars that's out there that the guy kayaks three miles out by the oil docks or whatever he has out there. And I don't know what fish he had on and right by the kayak, a shark grabbed it and the line wrapped around him. Uh, and he was able to take his zipper pole and actually cut the braid before it did any serious harm to him. And he has it all on GoPro. So we are waiting for that video to, uh, to be edited, but how cool is that? That's really awesome to see that actually in action and to basically save your life. So it's even better. Yeah. He, I mean, it could have gone way wrong and he was laughing about it. Like, holy cow, this thing saved my life. But yeah. <laughs> so give, if you can give the anglers a little bit of a demonstration on how that pool, how the, um, the ring actually works and maybe even show the pool. So that way the anglers can see it. Yeah, absolutely. I'll take this out. So a little background on why our product is better than any scissors or knife that you're ever going to use um, is because scissors have a pivot joint. So if you're cutting scissors, it works like this day one, right? Now, if you wanted to say cut 30 pound braid, all you do is on either side of the ring or the zipper pull, you bring this through. Where did my camera go? There you go. Literally, here's braid, which is tough. And it is like a hot knife through butter. We can double this up. I mean, this is, you know, this is 60 pounds, which I see every day. And literally it's, it's nothing. So the difference between this and scissors is there's no moving parts. So you can slide it through on both sides. Now, if you wanted to cut 80 pound mono, um, floral carbon, uh, lead core, that's going to weaken your pivot joint and your scissors. And then you're never going to be able to cut braid the same and it's going to fray. So with no moving parts, you can jump between any of your fishing lines and know that you're going to get that clean cut. Same sense. You're never going to cut yourself. Nice. So, so is that a stainless steel blade or is that a ceramic blade? This is ceramic. Amazing. So our new products are going to have ceramic, um, just for salt water to last even longer. So, our rings still have stainless steel blades dipped in titanium. Now it's gonna last in, in uh, salt water as well. We have captains that have used them for two years, just got sprayed off like everything, um, but salt water is just hard on anything. So this ceramic will last you know, basically a lifetime. And like I said, you can put this on like a zinger or you can put it right on your PFD. You know, it doesn't matter with the flat mounts. So we just say clean off a spot. A lot of guys have fish finders on their kayaks. Um, you know, you can actually put it right on the floor too. Uh, it's not gonna cut you. So it'll have 3M, clean it off. And then, so basically this is your kayak, side, say the side of your kayak, stick that bad boy right on there. It's never gonna cut you. You're gonna be able to take, even if you're rigging up, take your braid if you wanna do like mono to floral or sorry, floral braid. There you go. It's super easy, like no effort whatsoever. You just kind of just lightly tug it through and it cuts easily. Yeah, I mean, we uh, we actually teamed up with uh, AMS Bow Fishing um, and they're cutting 500 pound AMS bow string through our flat mount, like nothing. They're like, we can't even explain how insanely cool this is. That's awesome, exactly. And we never had any idea that bow fishing was gonna be, you know, in, in, the, uh, in the realm of things. Well, as you've learned from watching even the Shark Tank, you didn't even realize that they're going to use these in like sewing and different things like that. So, I mean, it's amazing. It is crazy amazing. I've learned more about knitting and sewing and cross stitching than I've ever imagined in my entire life. But I mean, it makes sense. Like, uh, you know, we pay all this money for our kayaks and our boats and the, the quilting and sewing community. I mean, they pay seven, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 for sewing machines. And the last thing they think about is the cutter or the placement. So they buy these with their names on them. It'll say Janome or Featherweight, and it leaves on their machines, and they just assume it's just it's a Janome product, but it's really ours. So awesome. if you guys have followed us at all on uh, social media, it's kind of funny because one weekend I'll be in a fishing jersey selling these to anglers, and the next week I'll have jeans and a polka dotted shirt, and I'll be – talking about cross stitching and chain piecing who would have thought but whatever, you know? that is awesome I mean, yeah. I mean you would never you never would expect that this product um as simple as it is 
could be so versatile in many facets of the industry. I mean, not just fishing, but sewing, um, you know, massive producing uh, clothing, equipment, anything that anybody's doing that involves thread, basically, yeah. you can use this thing. And like uh, every day when we open our emails, there's somebody that's doing something different. Like uh, scuba divers use our stuff all the time because they'll get tangled up an old line sometimes uh it's around their neck and if they take out their knife which is typical and they were to nick their air holes i mean they're in deep crap this nice. won't cut it but they'll be able to cut weeds old fishing line all that stuff and we're like awesome had no idea but it's huge in that community as well it's amazing how everybody just kind of can make it versatile we i have and several of the anglers that were at icast uh, last year we have some of the uh, flat mounts that we had the logos printed on them. So for yep. a price, you guys can even get logos printed on them. Yeah, I mean, we can put your face on it too. We've done bachelor parties, we've done big companies. I mean, you name it, we can do it. That's awesome. Um, so what else is going on with line cutters? There's gotta be other things you have going on. I mean, if you go to the website, there is tons of stuff that you guys can go and look at not only that, but like in order from fish grips, hats, clothing. I mean, you, you really starting to make a full fledged brand now spinning off of the, the cutter. Yeah. Um, it's literally nuts. Um, the, I think the biggest thing is, is our, our micro scissor. Um, I don't have it here to show you cause we only have about four made, but we just got product of the year or best in show at ICAST finally got the award, brought home some, uh, hardware. Even though we weren't there to celebrate with, you know, because we usually throw the, I would say the biggest party of the year now, you know. The best party that I love. That's the best one. You want to know what's crazy? Our first year, Vance only had 250 people at that party. And we thought, man, that was pretty cool. 250 people came to see us. Last year, we had an hour and a half wait out the door. Right. Yeah. It like, was it was probably one of the best parties and one you definitely, if you get the opportunity to go to ICAST, is definitely one you don't want to miss. It's always a lot of fun. I think we've had anything from black eyes, busted teeth, all sorts of crazy things happen. Yeah, absolutely. And it's not even that crazy of a party, you know, it's no. just <laughs> one us, but we have a great time. That's for sure. Yeah. Last year it was the, um, the, they were doing the real intention party with it. They were, they were battling back and forth like total war. And that was insane. Yeah. yeah. And, and this year we were actually going to rent out, you know, cause we have the two floors. We were going to rent out the whole building because so many people last year saw the line that they were jumping in line, not even knowing what was going on, but they're like, I, clearly something cool is happening in there and I want in and we can turn them away. You know, they paid their entry fee. Well, it, you know, 2021 is always going to be bigger and better. So this is an opportunity. So it will be, it will be a lot of fun either way. So if you get the top floor and not the whole thing, it's, even, it's fun either way. Yeah, absolutely. So I would say that is, well, I guess leading up until about a week ago, that was awesome um, is getting that award. Uh, now we just closed on a 15,000 square foot building in uh, Texas as well. Uh, Vance is selling his house, getting a new house, kind of closer to the shop. The guy is literally a machine and, and bleeds line cutters. Like, I mean, if there's any guy you're going to work for, I mean, I couldn't pick the better boss to go all in on. That's awesome. Yeah, you guys got, and, and not just the one warehouse, you bought like an entire strip mall. And yeah, we got like a small village. <laughs> it, 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 it's great because he, put, he posted these videos of what he's doing and one what what's a, a 35 yard dumpster is now completely full of old clothes from a moldy mildew mess yeah the guy before it and i don't know how many times he's filled that dumpster but the guy uh collected you know it was almost like american pickers there's just a bunch of stuff there you know and i think one of the buildings was like a ufc training so we have mats and gloves and you just don't know what you're gonna gonna find you know it's just like holy crap well, and now you just gotta set it up in the corner, and then that way you all can duke it out afterwards. Exactly. Whoever has the lowest sales can speed up. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, so you got you got the the new the new scissors that are coming out. Um, yep. Anything else that you guys are looking at possibly doing? Um, I think at one time I saw that there was another Kickstarter campaign getting ready to start. Yes. So we did our Kickstarter. Uh, we had teamed up with a company called A List Lures. Um, we are the main wholesaler for these guys because they wanted to use our platform. 
Um, but we have Donald Trump and Joe Biden lures. And oh, uh, that's right. if you give me a second, I got I got Trump over here. <laughs> that's awesome. I don't know if you guys have seen these. These lures are absolutely amazing. Uh, Mike McKinstry uh, showed these on his page, and he he promote, promoted them on um, the Basswatch Hunter TV show. So uh, these are truly unique. They're top water lures. So you, that's the uh, yeah. So here's Trump. I don't have Biden, um, but literally it is. I mean, the plastic is legit. Um, I've I throw this over my frogs now. Like literally, it <laughs> works so well. Like you can walk it, you can pop it. Um, the hooks are actually really, really good as well. But yeah, we have these on our site now. We're helping out that company. I mean, they're selling what what we thought was going to be kind of a funny little joke is become serious. Like. <laughs> I have had shops that have ordered three times over the last week and a half. Like, That's crazy. Yeah, because you know it's like, do you like one of the, you know, one of the guys, or do you give them to your friend who hates Trump or loves Trump, or it's a novelty? Um, but to me, I'm like, if it catches fish, I don't care what it looks like, as long as there's a bass on the end of that thing. Like, it doesn't uh, matter. Me. I think I've got to order one just because it would be awesome to see something yeah. catch it down here in South Florida. Dude, it, it is awesome. And yeah, I mean, you don't see it every day. <laughs> For sure. Uh, I, on there would be awesome. I, I couldn't even imagine like pulling up to the ramp and everybody looks over at your, all your rigs and they go, huh, all right, I could see that. <laughs> yeah, when we were, when I was product testing this, I caught just a monster on one, right? And then my next cast, it got caught up in these trees like way back and it broke off. And I'm like, I'm not going to go get it. But then when I was driving home, I was like, God, if the wind blows and you were in your kayak and you saw Trump floating by you, would you just be like, what the heck what? is that? You know? Yeah. That so, would be awesome. And, and then, you know, yeah. someone, someone's going to get it because it's going to be completely awesome. So, um, yeah. so did you end up going back and get it? No, I just let, it was so far back there. And I'm like, I'm not scratching up the boat for that one. So I got more at home. I like this. David Harper said the best one right here. It says, uh, Trump for bass and Biden for mudfish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I yeah. shot a lot of mudfish last week and we went bow fishing. Yeah, those things are fun to fish for. I don't care what anybody says. Okay, um, sure. So what else is happening throughout the, throughout the rest of this year? I mean, you guys are going to be um, obviously mass producing and selling the product that you're at right now, but yep. you know, moving, moving into a new warehouse, moving into a new shop getting everything centrally located. What's going to happen for the rest of the year rolling into 2021 next year, ICAST, hopefully? Well, we, uh, we're we going to debut, I guess, in person would be the SNP. We'll probably be doing some uh, uh, pre-orders around October for those. Uh, we actually have rods coming out as well. Um, we debuted last year at ICAST. We, as well as Abu, that same day, uh, released a... Uh, smart rod. So if you guys haven't seen our rods, uh, it's kayak orientated, has a, a smaller butt on it. Um, we teamed up with some of the best rod makers in the world out of Texas. So um, our rods are awesome. And, you know, they have dual locking nuts. So your reel doesn't wobble ever. Top uh, three eyelets glow. And then it has a smaller butt. So when you're in your kayak, you can walk the dog, you can flip jigs. Uh, and they, I mean, they're they're super, super nice rods. So the top three eyelids glow. So at night yeah. fishing, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. So they have things for everything. I didn't even realize that those three glue glowed. That's awesome. Yeah. And then, like I said, we one of the rods, we have the Angular Lab right in the butt. So if you guys are familiar with that, um, so that's our smart rod. And then we're also coming out with one called the Diesel. That's literally going to be a rod you can beat the snot out of. Like you could jump on it. It's not going to, it's like a ugly stick on, on steroids. So nice. You the know diesel I mean? ugly. It's like an ugly stick on steroids. Now I definitely yep. got to see that one. That's going to be it's awesome. called the diesel. And we should have those, you know, here pretty shortly. And then of course, everything's going to be available on the website. Yep. Website. We'll have that storefront. If people are in Texas or driving by, I promise you won't miss our, our bright green store. Oh, I wouldn't even doubt it. I actually tried to find like the brightest green shirt that I had and I couldn't even wear it today. It was like wadded up in the dirt. I, I, I had a Kermit the Frog one on earlier and I'm like, oh, that's kind of too cheesy, but all right, but it would have worked. Everybody loves Kermit, man. <laughs> um, so 
now we're going to have a little bit of fun. Um, I've got I've got my my questions here taped to my computer Perfect. that way. Um, so you got to tell us what's your bucket list places that you want to go fish. My bucket list. I really want to go to Venice, Louisiana. Um, that it's just so many of our friends fish there. And the amount of fish that you can get, I mean, anytime you can catch a redfish and a largemouth bass on the same lure back to back cast, you know, I I'm in like, that's just, to me, that's wild. That would be awesome. So you got, you got, um, uh, Louisiana so is one of your bucket list place. What else is there? Do you got two more, maybe another one? Yeah. I wouldn't mind going back to uh, Costa Rica, chase some sailfish. We did that. We got a little skunk. Well, we had one on for about an hour and a half, and it broke uh, my leader right at the boat. So uh, still, I mean, I've never seen a, a captain. You know, it hooked on. He was popping bottles, you know, pouring beer in my mouth while I was in the fighting chair. And once that thing broke at the boat, it was like there was a funeral. You know, like no <laughs> one got, Like he just saw the dollar bills just gone, and I'm like, dude, I'm so sorry. Like I felt shame. Like I should probably go downstairs. Oh no, that, that, that's the, that's why they call it fishing and not catching. Yep. And then the other place I, I love, uh, is Crystal River in Florida. Oh yes. Crystal River. Gorgeous there. Yes. We go out with our buddy Eddie and he has shark adventures and I mean, tarpon sharks. I mean, it's just, it's beautiful out there. Like, I mean, I love it. I know it's not like the, everybody's going to say like Australia and all this stuff, but man, I just like to be by home. Well, and you guys usually do that right after ICAST, too. That's usually like your trip. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's one of our, our main trips. And maybe that's why, just because it just caps off just a crazy week and you get to just kind of relax, you know? Yeah, because it's a whirlwind when you go to ICAST and you guys are constantly, constantly busy. So it is always a treat to see what you guys got going on at the, at the booth there. All right. So now we asked you where your bucket list place was. What would be your top three anglers that you would want to fish? Oh, fish with fish with that's right all right so number one would be our minnesota boy mr seth fighter so he uh he lives just down the road from me i just haven't made the cut yet we see each other on the water and i'm just like come on man i almost jumped on uh at the classic uh i, I was running a little late because i had to break down the booth you know and uh his boat was just about to pull in around the circle and i'm like i should just snuck on the back of it <laughs> line cutter stuff. So I would have to go with Mr. Seth. Um, you know, Ike is just uh, a crazy good guy too. Um, I love him. And then there's the third one would be tough. Um, I'd have to go with Bill Dance, man. Like, yeah, that'd be fun. That's a guy that's been around forever. And whether he falls off his boat or breaks a rod or something happens, you know, it's going to be a treat, and you're going to learn something. Yes, exactly. So those are three great, great, great anglers to want to go out with. Um, all right. So we we asked that question. Now we need to ask, we need to know if you were okay. So the next time you're in Florida, are you going to want to get on some peacock bass? Uh, yes, please. All right. So we're going to have to schedule you, get you down here, figure out how to get you down here to make it happen because. We'll hook you up. Um, we got several guys and myself that will take you out. So you have an open invitation whenever you're down here. Yeah, I, I uh, was it last year? No, two years ago, I got my very first one. And it was crazy that the guy who took me out, we were just going in random uh, apartment complexes. Yeah. Which Minnesota, there's no fish in that stuff, you know? So I'm like, are you sure we're going to catch fish in here? He's like, oh, yeah, for sure, you know? And I caught one. It wasn't anything crazy big, but I got a, I mean, I got a taste of it, you know, yeah. like, and for me, you know, we're from Minnesota. So we, we check uh smallmouth is our, our big fish, our angry fish. And yeah, the peacock bass did some work. I mean, I think it's strong. Yeah. So you have an open invite to come down and join us anytime you're able to, or even if you're able to sneak down after I cast, um, you're, you'll be okay. close um, I appreciate it. Yeah, and we'll even hook you up, and we'll get you on some other exotics, whether bull, bullseye, snakehead, or something like that down here too. So that will be Sweet. a treat. Um, so we got uh, another piece of business. I think you have a discount code that you want to present to the anglers that are going to be uh, that are on the show tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Um, if you guys want to jump on the site, uh, there's the code right there. Um, everything basically is in stock right now, believe it or not, because we. 
just got destroyed the past couple of weeks. So it won't last long. Jump on there. You know, we appreciate, you know, you guys and, and any anglers in general, you know, like it's just awesome to be on here and, and do what we can do to help out. Well, we definitely appreciate it. And you guys always, as always, do an awesome job of presenting an amazing array of gear that we can use on our kayaks, our boats, and any part of our industry. So, we, again, we thank you for everything that you're doing for the industry. Keep on doing the hard work. I know social media is not easy, but you're doing a good job at it. No, thank you. I mean, that's a lot of ants, but, man, it, it's, a, it's a struggle, you know. It's, you know, people either love it or hate it, and you just do what you got to do. So I'm gonna throw up here one more time. The website you guys can go to is uh, lioncutters.com. That's with a Z. And make sure you get that because that is very important because if you go to Lion Cutters, it's gonna give you some weird. Yeah, off the wall thing. you wanna see what that looks like. Yeah, you don't, you're gonna to be totally disappointed if you go and look <laughs> at it. So you definitely wanna go and check it. Everything, like you said, is available. I went and looked at the, the store today. Everything is up and running. So you can order, order away. So that is a, um, awesome gift that they're giving out to the anglers. Thank you very much, Darren, for joining yeah. us. We appreciate everything you do. And I look forward to seeing you again in ICAST, brother. Heck yeah. And one invite to you guys, since you're going to have me come down Peacock, if you guys want to come here and ice fish, you let me know. It is a one in a lifetime experience. And I promise you, you're going to love it. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to take you up on that because that would be something that I do want to do. And it will probably be the last time that I do it. I don't think so. We had Jacqueline Crooks from Louisiana in December. She's been back twice already to ice fish. She's All like, right. Well, like then, you, then, then you must have treated her well. So I mean, it might be a, it must be an amazing opportunity. So it's definitely one of the things that I want to I want to do. Um, definitely want to thank uh, Nicholas Beltran for hooking us up together and yeah, getting absolutely. everything linked up. And we definitely want to make sure that um, everybody gets the opportunity to go into the website and ordering your uh, your supplies through Line cutter so again thank you very much darren for joining us awesome thank you guys so much for having me greatly appreciate it if you need anything i'm just call away always and their customer service is amazing they will get a hold of you right away so now you'll be talking to me yeah you'll be talking to darren <laughs> <laughs> so again thank you brother and have a wonderful right, week cool. and get out on the water thank you guys so yeah i'm going to show up that code one more time real quick so that way you all can see it that is a kaf 20 that's 20 percent off at the checkout so you guys are able to go online and get that if you're part of our kayak anglers of florida group that that code will be inside of that page so you will definitely um, be able to link up and take care of business through that again thank you darren for joining us really appreciate it now we're going to do a little bit of housekeeping, some business, and to tell you guys a little bit of what we have going on for 2020 as 21 as soon as I find it. Next year, we have a unique opportunity. We're going to be presenting the for the 2021 an award for the top-ranked female angler and also the top-ranked junior angler. They'll get an award and also a spot in the championship for 2021 on the St. John's next year so this is a unique opportunity to get all the ladies all the wives involved in um, kayak angling and also a junior angler now what i mean by junior angler that junior angler can be anywhere between 15 and 18 years old i know it's a, a tight window but those anglers will also still need to be chaperoned by an angler for an event so if anybody wants to sign up their um their their student for the junior angler rankings please contact us and let us know um, that you're wanting to do that. And we can talk about the age and just make sure that everything's going to be done and everything's going to be legit and ready to go for next year. So that's going to be top rank angler. So all that, ang all that, all those, all those anglers have to do is rank. Okay. Next year is a unique opportunity. We were wanting to include a lot of families, a lot of um, other individuals that were not, did not take part this year. We're opening the doors and we're kicking them wide open. So we're inviting female anglers, junior anglers. Come on, come on and join us for the trail this year. So that is a, a unique opportunity to get more of the community, kayaking community involved in what we're doing throughout the state of Florida. We have a total, I'm looking at it right now. It is, we have a total of nine anglers already signed up since we launched it last week on Friday, I believe. 
Uh, 9A was already signed up for the trail, so it's it's going to trickle in. I know this week's pay week, payday week, so we'll see a lot more signups then, and it will be a opportunity to get on board. Our very first trail stop in November is going to be Lake Jackson, and that is north of Tallahassee. This is a massive body of water up in the Panhandle, and it's a unique opportunity to get those West Coast freshwater anglers involved. So. We're going up there. We're going to be doing the regular, the, the, the format that we're doing now, everything online, everything through Tourney X and also captain's meetings online and doing everything that because we're still following the social distancing guidelines. So we definitely want everybody to take part and join us for the 2021 season. So all those wives that you left at home this year, all those older students, all those junior anglers that you have out there, this is the year to get them signed on and get them on board with us for the 2021 season. Just to remind everybody, we have eight anglers already signed up for the championship this and the end of September. So eight anglers have already signed up for that. And we are slowly working our way to that. Fun, exciting news. Our captain's bags, bags. <laughs> our captain's bags are basically going to be the same same amount, if not more, of what you've already going to be paying in. So it's going to be awesome. So it's, you definitely want to get involved in that. Those anglers have a, another couple of weeks, and then I will uh, be reaching out to you all to make sure we get everybody on board for that. Just another reminder, spaces up at the campsite for the championship are starting to get booked. They have a very large influx of guests and visitors starting to come into the state of Florida now. Everybody's starting to do a little bit of road traveling. Snowbirds are starting to come down a little early. They're, they're leaving their states and coming down to Florida. So it's you might want to start looking at booking as soon as possible, whether it's at the fish camp or if you're staying in a hotel in the area, you definitely want to make sure you get on board with that. Wanted to remind everybody that if you go on to any of our social media, oops, excuse me, that was the wrong button. Any of our social media platforms, you can see we have everything on YouTube right now, has all of our videos, all of our interviews, everything that you have that we have out there is on there. So you can go back and rewatch an episode, share an episode, everything like that. You can even post onto our Instagram page, post onto our Facebook page, Kayak Anglers of Florida, and we have a Twitter account that gets very little attention but starting to get more, and that's at K underscore A underscore of underscore F. So there is all of our social media tag hand, handles that you can go and partake in everything. Please leave comments of anything that you watch and let us know what you think about it. Give us a like button, subscribe to the channels, and you will be completely up to date to everything that we have going on. Another quick thank you to Darren from Line Cutters and to the whole team of Line Cutters for joining us for our interview tonight. Love seeing the products. I use their products on my kayak. I have the flush mount on my Hobie right down by my uh, Groove launch pad. So it's right there, ready to use. Great products. And then I am actually going to be ordering a couple other things as we speak. So thank you, everybody, for joining us for the show. Sean, thank you, Scott. Thank you for being here. David Harper, great to see you again. Josh Mercer, Dan. Thank you for joining us. And also thank you for Nicholas Beltran for all of his hard work. Thank you to all the other guys that help us. Ryan, James, Michael on the leadership team, helping us with everything we have going on with the kayak English of Florida. We are looking forward for 2021 and we are also really excited and ready to hit this championship for 2020 and find out who's going to be the overall champion of 2020 for the Kayak Angels of Florida Sunshine State Trail. So we look forward to seeing you guys all. Look forward to next week's interview. It's going to be a great one. We have Yak Gadget that's going to be with us, one of our title sponsors for the trail. And we're going to be talking a lot about all of their products and everything that they have going on and also the support that they give us. So next week we're going to be talking Yak Gadget, and then we are also – I have another big surprise coming down the pipe. So thank you again. Everybody have a wonderful weekend. Get out on the water. Enjoy yourselves. Be safe. And remember, where community and fishing come together. <laughs>